Watching today's winners and losers on Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black. And Rob, we're now in the earnings seasons. The banks have been reporting and big profits for Bank of America. Yes, uh, profits quadrupled. I hate wow. to say the phrases, I told you so, but this was the most obvious investments in the last three years. It still is. Um, I think you can own regional banks. I think you can own national banks. Um, if you go into a Bank of America, I don't like it. Socially, I don't like Bank of America. It feels kind of dirty to me. But the stock-wise, I love it, whether it be the priced earnings, whether it be the uh, mortgages. The mortgages industry is the worst part about it at this point in time. The litigation seems to be behind them. They've been reducing risks. They've been reducing expenses. They've had fewer delinquencies. Uh, the banks are at the right place at the right time. But they are telling us that mortgage originations have dried up. And that could be telling us that um, instant gratification of real estate could be stopping for America. But in hot areas with jobs like the Bay Area on the peninsula, I'd expect real estate prices to continue to notch higher. All right, we're talking Tesla, and we often can't decide if Tesla is in fact a car company I know they are a car company but as far as an investment angle and now they're really uh, increasing their sales so are you starting to think of Tesla more now as a car company or still uh, more? I think they're established okay um, I'm not gonna go totally against them okay um, they've had some issues um, recalls that they have yeah. to update their software to move their cars a little higher they're moving their batteries a little higher uh, but Elon Musk seems to be a master of the stuff a couple of the chargers that plug into your garage have melted um, which is not that much of a problem it, it happens in life so it's high-end electronics. They sold 6,900 Model S sedans. These are gorgeous $70,000 vehicles. Last year, they told, sold over 22,450. Ford sells that in a couple of days. Um, revenue for the fourth quarter is going to be beating expectations. And they said they're working on a lower price model in the next three years, which is really when Tesla grows up and becomes a little bit more mainstream. $70,000 is a lot of money for the average car buyer out there. But Love what they're doing. I wish Apple or Google would buy them. Interesting. And uh, we've been talking about Google, speaking of Google, and now they bought Nest. We talked about this yesterday, that thermostat company uh, with Wi-Fi built in. Uh, Google really trying to get into your home right now. Do you like this play for Google? Yeah. Do you know anyone who has Nest? It, it, it's just, yes, it's very cool. I've seen it's them. It's very cool. It's stylish. You can go into it's home. It's a learning Depot. thermostat. It's a learning thermostat. So when you leave the house, it's got sensors in it that says you're gone. There's no need blasting air conditioning on a hot summer day. Air conditioning goes away. Uh, when you're gone, the, like maybe at 530 when you're waking up, it knows that, so it knows to start turning up the heat. The personal reviews on the product are horrific. <laughs> the uh, magazine reviews are, you know, they go goo-goo for it. Uh, goo-goo, ga-ga. Um, go. For Nest, they have a smoke detector. It's all about the Internet of Things. In theory, in the next couple of years, your refrigerator will be able to tell you, the repairman, hey, it's a belt, or hey, it's a, an adapter that we need. Um, more and more things are going wireless in your home. I like it. I think Nest is a cool product. This is an insult to Apple because this was Tony Fidel who uh, basically designed the Apple iPhone. Uh, for him to go to work at Google, the arch enemy of Apple is intriguing to say the least. And again, people just scratch their heads. Why didn't Apple buy this? Because it's controlled by an iPhone. Uh, it's mm -hmm. beautiful. It's sleek. It's in your house. Um, clearly, Apple saying, we just want to sell BMWs. We want to sell high-end products. We don't want to get into this market. Okay. What about General Motors? I mean, that company is certainly back, and now a new CEO, and dividends coming. And, you know, a lot of people got burned with GM stock with the bankruptcy. Do you like that stock now? I still like the bonds. Okay. In the end, they're a manufacturing company, okay. and I'll always say they're a manufacturing company. The bonds pay, or the preferred shares, pay a, a big fat dividend, um, and that's something that I like. The question for you is, do you like the company? Um, they had the number one uh, Chevy Silverado last year. They had the number one car last year. Um, they're pretty well positioned with their competition. Some people think later this year, 2014, that there'll be a little bit of a price war, as units are only supposed to grow 2%. The easy money in GM has already been made. Uh, the financial stock easy money is gone. Um, so going forward, it, it's nice, but I can find other things to invest in. All right, thank you, Rob. And you can catch Rob Black's segments of the Cron 4 Morning News as well as on our new Cron 4 app.